Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Slay the Spy where we are currently playing as a scientist trying to get a win under the silence belt. If we go over to our statistics over here, you'll see that we have zero wins this time because we lost all of our stats for some reason. I assume it's some form of a glitch in the game. And uh, we have not been able to amass a win on the silence since. And uh, mainly because the game is 100% rigged. I'm pretty. I'm not even pretty sure. I'm literally 100% sure because every single time if you have a certain deck they give you the boss that destroys the current the next best thing so i'm gonna choose to start off with the more hp here actually it's gonna do more fast in the long run and i'll just make sure i go to a bonfire before i go to a uh to a elite and we should be fine so um a little bit annoyed the last run was super frustrating we had an extremely strong deck once again the good old-fashioned normal um draw discard deck which we always have as a silent because that's the only deck that the silent can actually build that does fucking anything anyway we even had apotheosis but apotheosis has been nerfed like a bitch and uh because it's been nerfed like a bitch it just is not as good as it used to be so that sucks but that's fine i guess i don't know why they nerfed apotheosis not like it was op or anything it was just good it was just really really good and a little bit sad that that card got nerfed and i didn't realize it until after the game and i rewatched the episode and I was just very annoyed. Um, I was just very annoyed in general by that episode and by that uh, situation. We got absolutely, I almost want to say cheated out of a victory just because the game decided to give us the Time Lord, which was the only way we lost. So it's going to happen from time to time, I guess. It's okay, whatever. But I'm still slightly annoyed by it. And hopefully we can eat out a silent victory now. I don't, honestly don't know how to approach a victory anymore. I knew exactly how to approach a victory. Super high poison deck, victory. Super high draw discard cycle deck, victory. But now it seems like they've taken all those away and we're sitting in a situation where we just have nothing. Um, well, both of these suck, but I guess setup is good once you upgrade it. So might as well go setup then, I guess. It's not a good card, but it's not a bad card either. So here you probably want to neutralize this man and go set up, put a strike on top of the deck and we can strike this man once and then defend once and that will end the turn. So we're going to have a strike for next turn, we're going to take no damage here, so set up like I guess worked. But I don't know how set up works or how to approach set up but uh, I want to start using set up and I want to start using these cards I don't use often to see if we can maybe uh, eke out some victories for a change. I feel like I haven't seen a victory screen in 10 millennium and I'm not very happy about that. I think I'm on like a 30 game losing streak at the moment or something. I don't know what exact the numbers are, but it's pretty high up there. And uh, I haven't played the Ironclad in a while and that's probably why, but it's because I don't want to play the Ironclad. The Ironclad is, it's not that it's easier. It's just like I win as the Ironclad. And of course winning as the Ironclad is nice and you want to win the game. I mean, that is literally the point. It's like, What's the point of winning if uh, you don't work for it? You know what I'm saying? I want to win. I want to work for my victory. Give me a victory that I work for, baby. Make me work for it. Make me work for my money. It's fine. Let's go spin the wheel, baby. Give me something good. Give me give me a fucking chest. You never give me a chest. You always give me curses. Give me a chest. Oh, my God. Ask and I shall receive, apparently. So I'm very, very happy. We got a chest there. Cool. Get a relic. It's the shuriken. That's amazing. It's like the best, one of the best relics in the whole freaking game. I'm very, very happy right now. So thank you so much, game, for giving me a shuriken. So this is a little tricky. I guess you kill this first slime. You just block and take three here. It's okay. We weren't going to fight an elite anyway. Now that we got one free relic, we might as well, we can skip one elite fight at least. Um, you want to fight the elites on the first floor. That's just a fact. So... I know I want to fight the elites on the first floor, but at the same time, also in a situation. You know what you guys must do? You must make that choke doesn't wear off, okay? That's what you need. Choke should not wear off. If you make choke not wear off, mm, baby, it's going to be good. It's going to be so good. Are we still weakened? No, we're not. Why are you still alive then, dude? I don't understand. So with Shuriken, you want the shift deck, okay? Shuriken and shifts, they just, they, they synergize like they were meant to be. This hand go fuck itself, by the way, but I mean, it's going to happen time to time. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm a tiny bit faster at Slayer Spy at the moment, and uh, I can't wait for the next patch so they can fix up some stuff. Time Lord is too strong at the moment, and uh, they either need to go back to weaken the Awakens H max HP, or they need to bring them back to where he doesn't keep his powers when he goes over to the second form, because that's killing me every single time. Uh, Cult Traps is probably what you want here. Both of those were okay, but nothing was great. We're going to end up fighting an elite, but we're going to rest up before we do so. I'm going to hope that that's fine. If it's the red elite, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. It's the little, it's the sentry, guys. That's actually not too bad. It's not great, but it's also not too bad. Out of the, all the options we could have got, that's probably one of the lesser bad options. So these guys can attack a lot, and uh, for that, Cult Trap is going to be useful. We, of course, want to go upgrade Cult Traps as soon as possible. 
There is a tornado in the bottom now, which is really good. But uh, we'll see how that goes. For now, though, I think what we're going to do is we're going to uh, choke. I don't know if choke counts as a negative. It does count as a negative debuff. So, there you guys got choke counts as a negative debuff. So, if you didn't know, it will not work against these guys. So, uh, I'm going to tank a little bit of damage for that experiment. But uh, sometimes in life, you just need to tank some damage for an experiment. Bum, 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 bum. You got block. You got block. And you go strike. You just at this point when all three are attacking, which is gonna happen, is it's kind of bullshit, but it's uh, that's what happens. You are gonna just have to block like crazy. I'm praying, block and pray, baby, block and pray. And the only good thing we can take away from this is the fact that we are slightly, we are slowly doing damage to these guys. Um, although, as I said, it's very slow, it is happening, and we're getting like a little bit of strength every turn, which is gonna make a difference in the long run, I guess, but. Yes. One of the harder sentinels or sentries, sentries? I think they're sentries. Are you said, yeah, it's sentries. The sentries are probably the hardest boss you're gonna fight here on the first floor, the hardest elite. The red guy's a problem because of the fact that you can't use skills, but we weren't gonna really use skills anyway. We're just gonna kind of attack him down with choke, and he would have died really fast. So, um, not that we were gonna use skills, so it's not a problem. Ah, one day's call will not get exhausted, but it's okay. So he's dead, and then the second we'll take down. So at this point, we shouldn't take any more damage because we can kind of just like block every turn enough to not take damage, I think. Unless we get this exact setup, which is just bad, I guess. But um, that's bad. I mean, I say this exact setup, and we had the setup card in our hands, so it's ironic. But I didn't mean an ironic way. I meant it as a fuck you type, fuck you game type of way. You know what I'm saying? Taking three damage here. We didn't get enough shuriken play, so we need. As I said, shivs. Shuriken and Kunai are two of the greatest cards in the game um, if you have shivs. So if we can get a shiv deck going, we'll be in a good place. War paint is okay. It's, I don't like war paint. Why do you always give me war paint? Why can't you give me uh, the one that gives me the attacks instead? We didn't get Apotheos. We did get Transmutations. Okay, I guess. Um, dead Branch is, is pretty good. But there's no cor there's no cons uh, corruption in this deck. So Dead Branch is probably not good here. What are you exhaust? You don't exhaust anything, do you? I don't think the green car, the green guy actually exhausts cards. We probably just want to move the curse at this point, I think. I think that's the right play. We can get a pair, which gives us more access. Maybe that's a good idea, actually. Having more max HP is never a bad thing, especially with the, the silent. So remember, the HP, you heal according to your max HP. So the more max HP you have, the more you heal at bonfire. So that is something to keep in mind. This is bad. This gremlin fight is pretty bad for us. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, choke is 2 mana, and that's 0 mana, so we can probably straight up kill one of the fat gremlins. I'd like to rather kill you, so you're done. And then I want to probably attack you, and attack you. And we got a charge on our shuriken, we're going to take some damage here. It's okay, there's two bonfires coming up, so I shouldn't die. The chance I die against the gremlins is reasonably low, so we're going to pray that's the case. The worst case scenario, we can just drop cult trips and start blocking for infinity, and then they'll kill themselves on cult trips, but I mean... I don't, I don't have the time for that shit, and I don't know about you guys, but I really just don't have the time for that shit. I'm gonna attack you, and I'm gonna defend, and I'm gonna end my turn. I'm gonna take three damage here. It's okay. Of course, we're gonna get Kyle Chops in our final hand, in our final draw hand. You're not gonna give it to us early game. That would just be too kind. Be too kind, and let's be let's all be honest with ourselves. That was one thing that uh, Slayer Spy isn't, and that's kind. It's a cool game that plays with one's heartstrings. And pretty much fudges you. But it's okay. You know what? I forgive you. I forgive you. Um, I should have probably set up that defend for the next turn, but whatever. He's dead. He's literally dead next turn, so it doesn't matter. Awesome. So that's uh, one less fight for us to worry about. Having Vajra's okay. Flechettes. I've never, like, built around Flechettes. How much the skills do we We do not have nearly enough skills to build around Flechettes. Uh, Bane, no. Outmaneuver. Do we want energy? I mean, choke and energy could be good together, so maybe outmaneuver is fine. I don't know. I uh, might as well put out. Let's take outmaneuver. I guess it's fine. Mm -hmm. First ice cream! Oh, baby. I kind of want to skip the question mark now that we got ice cream. Go for the monster fight instead. But I'm going to go for question mark. We have 14 HP. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. Move a card in your deck, transform a card in your deck, upgrade a card in my deck. If I was going to upgrade a card, I would want to upgrade. Choke, can I see your upgrade version? It's just five. So we wouldn't want to upgrade choke. Cultrips 
I know you get to five, but I was hoping you had initiate. What do you do? Give me three mana, but that's not really good. Setup becomes zero, right? Setup does become zero. That could be good. But removing a card could be worth more. What would we remove? We have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attacks, and we have the f eight attacks, and we have one, two, three, four. We can probably remove a strike card. I'm gonna remove a card from my deck and remove one strike card. I think that's the play. A little bit of a trick, a little bit more of a trickier one for me personally, knowing which one to decide on. But I'm gonna choose that. The, the fact is, we have to heal up so much these days. I'm gonna go for another question mark. Fuck it. I know. Oh, we got a dream catcher for free. Yeah, I'm gonna waste up and get a free card, baby. Give me a free card, baby. Give me something good. Give me anything that has. This is all bad. This is all just bad. We don't really weaken stuff. Doppelganger. I've wanted to play around doppelganger, but I haven't actually had the opportunity to. Next turn, draw X cards and gain X energy. Exhaust. Next turn, draw X cards and gain X. We already have an energy creation card. And we could kind of set Doppelganger up with setup. Uh, but if it's not upgraded Doppelganger, just, but I'm just going to say no, thank you. Say no, thank you. I'll fight the boss. It's a Guardian. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Especially if we have a start, I guess. Three attacks on turn one. Get our strength up a little bit. That's good. Ice cream is really good for us without maneuver, so actually having energy could be very, very useful. We should actually have kept that in mind. We're not going to do enough damage here to actually, uh... We're actually not going to do enough damage here to... I'm going to use outmaneuver uh, to actually knock him into his defensive form on the first turn, so we're going to take a lot of damage from this first attack. That's okay. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba. Now we can use choke. Yeah, you might as well defense, bitch. It ain't gonna matter. It ain't gonna matter. Yeah, we got some good damage out of that, I think. We knocked into the fencer mode. We got a shuriken up and we got cult trips down. So, in all in all, that's just good. Uh, I think you defend. You defend. You knee. So, we're gonna wanna start picking some. Uh, we're definitely gonna wanna start picking some energy creation cards. With ice cream and energy creation, that could be. That could be really good for us. We could get to like. A trillion energy and then we can get like skew and skew for a trillion. That could be a strat. That could be an actual strat that we can look into. So I'm gonna go for survivor here. I'm gonna put uh discard the strike card I guess. And defend. We're defending enough. I'm gonna go set up and turn. One extra energy. We could actually like with the ice cream we could build it. We should have taken doppelganger and I'll look at it. That's my bad. Doppelganger would have done more for us. Oh wow just no attack cards. Okay so this is bad for us. We also need card draw. Okay, I feel you. I feel what you're putting down, game. So we're gonna take some damage here. It's okay. He's also gonna take some damage here, so it's really okay. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. We took less damage, I feel, and he took more, so that's good. Attack, 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 and turn. We get more strength. And every time we attack with three cards, we draw out another turn, we get more strength, and it makes us stronger for the future. So this is a very like, I almost want to say investment heavy deck. We are definitely investing in our uh, future with this deck. Heavily. And uh, I think I can even do one more. Yeah, that's perfect baby. Seven strength. Two decks. So we want footwork. So we want a little bit of card draw. Not too much. We want more energy creation cards. So concentrate will be good. Um, anything along those lines. Probably want to use defend here. And survive here for a strike card. And then we want to probably neutralize this guy once. It takes zero damage. That's perfect. And we'll kill him next turn. He's pretty much guaranteed dead next turn. So don't see him not. I don't see him not dying now. Honestly. Okay. Actually, I do. If we don't draw attack cards, he will not die. Um, that is a good point that I did not consider. So all I'll say to that is, well done, game. Well done. You played before full, but he's gonna die on my spikes anyway, so it doesn't matter. And that went pretty good. Interesting idea. We have a kind of energy focused deck here. Burst the skill. This turn, your next skill is played twice on Nightmare. What? Does Nightmare just uh, turn... I had three copies of that card. I had, choose a, I had three copies. We could add three copies of Caltrips. We could add three copies of Outfucking Maneuver for all I care. We could literally outmaneuver three times. Have like six extra mana the next turn. Then you skewer. So basically, we are like kind of focusing a lot on having a skewer deck. Burst next skill you do cost it happens twice. Outmaneuver two times and uh, a block. 
Tactician. We don't really discard cards. If we're going for something, I think Burst is the right choice here. I don't know. It's kind of tricky. Uh, Astrolobe is fine. Ori is fine. And Valvachuk is actually not bad. We're not. A, we're never using like all our cards. So Valvachuk could be fine. Choosing transform three cards. We could transform three strikes into something else. Keep the defense. Oh, we didn't run a tax then. We ran a tax then. We need to still have a tax. I'm gonna go with Valve Choker. It was like a hard one, but I'm gonna go with Valve Choker. The thing is, we have the ice cream, so we have more energy. The more energy we have, the better, obviously. So, uh, we don't have enough money to make a shop really worthwhile, so I'm actually gonna take this route to this bonfire and go fight an elite. Hello, Mr. Parasite. I'm trying something really weird here, dude. I'm not gonna lie to you. So, whenever you play a card this turn, target enemy loses 3 HP. So, that's 2. How do we want to approach this? Probably want to go for a. We have 12 incoming damage. You probably want to go for like a choke. Into a burst. Into a survivor. Discard that card. Discard that card. Okay, so with that choke does straight damage to his health bar. It doesn't care about his armor. Very interesting. I did not know that it worked like that. So we should get 6 mana now without maneuver. We didn't cast our maneuver. Oh, my bad. We didn't cast our maneuver. I'm a retard. What can I say, guys? I messed up. I might be in. Uh, do we just set up and make defend free? I guess you do. It's fine. Oh, but we know that means we're going to draw the defend. That's actually bad. Okay, that's actually bad. Do -do 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 -do. I mean, we could just straight up go for like a super defensive play here if we want to. Got our strength up a little bit. Let's use this. Taking three damage. That's actually bad. I'm very upset about that. So we can only ever play six cards. That's something to keep in mind. Something to keep in mind. Okay, so three attacks. We actually can easily three attack. Attack one, attack two, attack three. Defend, defend. We will take some damage, but he's almost dead, so it's fine. We're we getting more shuriken stacks, and so on matters. So we take a little bit of damage there. It's not critical though. I'm actually kind of fine with that. So let's go burst. Go uh, survivor. Defend. Got that. Got that. And go like that. We're gonna take no damage, and he will definitely die next turn. I don't see him surviving next turn. I don't even see him surviving this turn. Okay, I see him surviving this turn. But he will die next turn. That's all that matters. Uh, neutralize him. Find him. That's it. So, it's not the best deck I've ever seen, but it's not too bad. I don't want any of these. Fuck all of you. You guys can go fuck us up. the last one? I don't even want to see those cards again in my life. We wanted Shivs, though. That's my bad. Choose one card of 20. I deck heal through it. Let's choose a card. Okay, what do we want to add? We want to add card draw, possibly. Energy creation. Um, more, another cult trips might be okay. Spend all energy, enemy loses X strength. That could be absolutely huge for us. That could be absolutely huge for us. Um, play dance is okay, distractions okay, backflips okay, escape plans okay. Acrobatics is probably the right choice here though. Um, hmm. I mean, we, uh, you know, we, we bullet this energy thing. You know what I wanted? I actually wanted, um, what's the card called? Skewer. I wanted Skewer. You're telling me I have all 20 cards here, you didn't give me fucking Skewer? You gave me 20 individual cards, not one of them is Skewer. Oh, we get Escape Plan? Oh, but that's a card, uh, we don't, we can't play too many cards. I'm gonna go for Mali Ice. I've never really played on Mali Ice, so let's go for Mali Ice. I'll buy some potions. I'll buy three persons. Oh, let's go. Easy. Thank you. I appreciate it, Mrs. Uh, potion Lady. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So we want cow traps early. We got cow traps early, so that's great. How do you want to purchase your cow traps? Into... Oh, we should have probably choked first. Um, I think your cow traps into... Defend, defend. Cow traps into defend, defend, and... You might as well... Get a strike going on the back bird, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. They're gonna wreck themselves on my spikes. That's fine. It's okay. Mm hmm. That's what you get for attacking me, Mr. Birdie. That's what you get. I'll neutralize the bird in the back. I think you go for survivor. Give it a setup. Go for defend. And then you just strike the bird in the back. Um, I want bird in the back to die. Nine. Uh, uh, we're gonna take three damage. I'm okay with three damage. It's fine. Birdies are gonna murder themselves. It's okay. They actually have to use all their attacks, which sucks. But other than that, it's it's not bad. 
If they could have died on Vortex, we would have been in a good position. But uh, it did not happen. Let's just do this as a joke. Lol. I need to. Your mind is fucking five attack for the rest of your life, Mr. Buddy. Why don't you just do zero now? Yeah, you just do zero, dude. I just wonder if it's interesting, like, how much energy could we possibly have next time? I'm pretty sure this bird is going to murder himself, but it's fine. We actually have 10 energies, no jokes. So skewer plus, uh, upgraded skewer plus 10 energy could be huge. Give me skewer, game! I need skewer! Can't you see I need skewer? Are you going to give me skewer at any point in this fucking game? I bet you not. I'm just going to take a wild guess and say you're not going to give me skewer, are you? Get three attacks and get a shuriken upgrade in our turn. One of these guys is almost dead. Two though are on full HP, so let's take this here. Might have sh maybe should have killed the middle guy with the uh, choke because it did, did, did quite a lot of damage as you can see. Um, this is a bit scary, so I'm going to use a block potion immediately. I'm going to use a normal potion. I'm going to use drop call traps. I'm going to strike so you are dead. Use this, and then I'm gonna set up this on that, I guess. Let's see how that works out. I don't think that will do anything, but that's fine. We're gonna take zero damage here, and they're gonna take some damage, so it's okay. Oh, we had strength upgraded, that's why the guy died. I was like, how is he dead? And I realized. Okay, so this just absolutely did nothing. So that's bad. Because that means we're gonna take way too much damage now. Uh, we can make him lose a trillion strength. Actually make them lose six strength. Um, but I don't think we wanna do it. I think we just wanna get some attacks in at some point. Make him lose strength now. Mm, that's a little bit bad. We're gonna take nine damage. We didn't actually have. I just realized, but we don't really have kill potential. It's kind of a problem. We're getting so much energy, we just don't have a way to kill stuff. You just die if I do that, so I guess it's fine. Do that and then block. We shouldn't have blocked three times there. We should have just blocked twice and then kept the energy of the next one, whatever. Don't care too much right now about stuff like that. Little perfect plays that don't bother me too much. Not at the moment at least. Maybe later on I'll be like, man, I wish I'd said that 2 HP on the perfect play. And I'll regret it. But for now I just want to get these buddies killed. I want to get a win under my belt as the motherfucking silent. And that's all I really care about right now. So that's region plus is pretty good. I want guys, oh, I want calculate gamble, it's really good. So I want to actually go to Smith. It's been a very long time since Smith. I kind of want to what does this do? This becomes plus. Calculate a gamble becomes like infinite. But I don't think you want that. I think you want to maybe upgrade choke. No. I want to actually just upgrade cold trips. Uh, it's actually hard. Like I don't actually want to upgrade any of these cards. All, they, all of these cards really suck. Burst probably for like better defending I guess. We could probably get like infinite defending with burst. Gonna fight an elite now. It's the gremlin elite. So a little bit scary. A little bit scary. Gremlin elite is a problem. I'm gonna start with neutralizing this man. Drink this potion. I'm gonna cut a gamble. I want choke. Didn't get choke, so we're gonna call trips here. And we're gonna defend here. And we're gonna defend again. And we're gonna strike this guy. Okay, so we didn't get a shuriken play. So we had uh, what we one attack too short there. But I think it's worth it to try and mitigate some of the damage. We're taking it, we're still taking quite a lot of damage. We did our region potion hopefully will do some work for us, but uh, it's gonna be a bit tight. It's gonna be a bit tight. So will you die to the choke? Yes, you will. Okay, sweet. And then you will not die to this. And then I'm just gonna end my turn. I could have probably set up the defend, but I don't really want to actually. It's gonna buff them, I get it, it's fine. You can buff you, that's fine. I don't mind, dude. So kinda right now, only real way to kill is with the choke, and I'm not entirely happy about that situation. Once again, we can't kill anything here because we got no attack cards in our deck. That's kind of problematic. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna set up the uh, the bank off the next turn for free. We're gonna have so much mana. Might as well do it. We need a dagger spray or oh my god! Now we're in a little bit of trouble. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Now I'm a bit worried. Now it's not even a bit worried. Now I'm just super worried. Use burst. Use this. Okay, I need attacks at some point. Game. At some point, you gotta give me attacks. So I'm pretty much just gonna get fucked. So I can't rely on these guys to kill themselves on my spikes. It's not going to work. So if we don't start getting attacks at some point, we did. I know I built a defensive deck with not many attacks in, but I was hoping that would pay off in the long run. It seems to not be working out like that. Let's get a shuriken upgrade there. 
We needed that a while ago. There, see, that's what I'm talking about. We did like half his HP gauge just with one fucking go because we actually got an attack. So, choke is our only damage, I just realized, and that's a problem. So, we're gonna need to kill these gremlins next turn. At least one of them, or we're gonna start tanking too much damage. Or, unless we can kill the boss. We can't kill the boss until choke comes around again. So, we do actually need card draws. The thing that is the deck is lacking at the moment is the card draw. Um, I think we go for this guy. Eh, we're gonna tank some damage. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. We're gonna tank quite a bit of damage here. Yeah. It's okay. Yep. Yep. I feel it. We don't have. We don't actually have attack cards. I just realized. We not getting any attack cards is the problem. Like we just actually have nowhere to fight people, and that is the problem. Do 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 do. Gonna have to drink this potion to kill this guy, and then we're gonna have to use one of these and end the turn. Oh. I guess we can lower his strength by 7 permanently, so that would be good. It's fine. I think that's a fine play. He's going to make them even stronger now, so lowering his strength permanently will be very useful for us. They're going to get um, armor and attack. That's fine. So moving 2 strength instead of 9 strength is probably a very, very, very good idea for us. I'm going to defend once. I'm going to strike. Strike. So we need card draw. We definitely need card draw, and then we need um, some form of attack card. Something that does mass damage, because look at this fight, like it's not hard, we're going to win the fight, but we're only going to win the fight because of like, a s we had full HP, I think if we didn't have full HP, we might have straight up just lost this fight, I'm not, I'm not even I'm not even kidding you guys right now, if we didn't have full HP, we might have just, if we didn't have Shuriken, we might have lost this fight, okay wait, let's take it back, if we didn't have Shuriken, we lost this fight, guaranteed, bag of prep is huge for us, we need damage, none of you are damaged, I know poison dagger is technically damage, but it's not the damage we need. It doesn't do what we need it to do. So you might need to really consider upgrading choke now. Oh no, I don't want to use choke right now. I want to use the fence. Because so he's negated. Let's go fly knee here. Go for a strike here. Go for a strike here. So we're going to take 12 damage. That's uh, fine. I'm not happy about it, but I'll live with it. She didn't buff them. I kind of wish she did. I think buffing would have been better for me there. Um, do you want to go for a defend into a cult traps into a neutralize into a strike? I guess she's going to heal them now. It's bad. So we pretty much can only win on a choke combo, it would seem. Very interesting. Very interesting. This is really bad, game. In case you haven't noticed, this is really bad for us. Just so you know, this is really bad. We're in a bad situation. Because we just have no damage. And I've, I didn't realize that until this point. Now she got arm ups, that means we can't actually kill her next turn. Okay, but he's going to armor again. So we might be able to, if we get choke, yeah, there we go. Choke into this, into this, gives us some stuff. And use all seven to lower this guy's strength for the rest of his life. I think that's the right play. So she's going to heal him again, and he's going to give her armor again. So it means we're not going to kill her next turn. Oh no, he, she buffed. That's huge. So that's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. We're not going to be able to kill her though. Hmm. So we pretty much are just cycling through our deck now until we get choked. And we're trying to get a good choke turn. Which is not a good strategy. Not going to lie to you. She needs to die now. We're actually going to calculate a gamble this whole hand. That is so unfortunate for us. Holy shit. I should have just blocked once. I don't know why double block. That was unnecessary. Okay, deck is looking a bit weak and I'm a bit worried now. You can stop healing, you dumb bitch. Holy fuck. You can't heal every fucking turn. This is some bullshit game. Come on. You got to give me attack cards at some point. At least half my deck is attack and the other half is defense. And you only give me the attack cards. This is super crap. Is that an exhaust card, by the way? Yeah, makes sense. Well, there's our attack card, but now we don't have a way to activate our attack card. Because she's finally dead, but we're going to take damage from this guy. At least he's minus 5 strength forever, and that's never going to get increased, so that's huge for us, I think. I think it's, yeah, that's, that's absolutely huge for us, as you can see. But of course, our deck is a deck where it only knows how to do one thing, and that is apparently defend for infinity and beyond. Even if you do me zero damage, you still take the damage from my thorns, so that's great. Okay, so we need damage cards in this deck desperately, absolutely 
desperately need damage cards. We have like energy wise, we are fucking we are winning. We are winning the game on energy. We just need skewer. We get skewer, we pretty much insta win this fucking game. I'm not even kidding. We get skewer, we just straight up win. Just need skewer. Where is skewer? I need to take the slice just for some form of damage. Oh, we're gonna find an elite. Okay, how many chip I don't want? Okay, we need to upgrade um, choke. It's our only fucking damage, apparently. Choke has to get upgraded. We need skewer. In a oh, we upgraded, we didn't heal. I fucked up. I fucked up, game. Game, I fucked up. I'm sorry. I take it back. Can I Can I just take it back? Redo my life, please. I fucked up. I'm so sorry. I should have also choked, maybe, game. Just saying it was probably a good idea, but whatever. Whatever, man. I messed up big time. I forgot to freaking choke, and I also forgot to heal. So we're going to probably die to elite now, but that's fine. Because this run feels semi Doom. Unless we get skewer right now, because we get skewer right now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hate myself. The rest of my life, the rest of my actual life. So if we use burst, right, and then we use one defense, it's fine. And then we use mal malleus. Does that give a minus? Oh my god, it does. Okay. So you are minus damage for the rest of your life, dude. Okay, it's only minus four now, but still, it's still minus four, and that's all that matters. Give me one strike, one strike, baby, one strike, one strike, one strike. Hey, give me a strike. I feel like there's a chance now because they gave me a strike. Life has meaning. I don't want to suffer, dude. I'm over suffering. Can I stop suffering, please? I don't want to suffer anymore, game. It's just I don't want to do it anymore, man. Can I just not suffer, please? I just realized we're going to take four damage because we got no blocks there. I like how we have a deck that only has blocks according to the de to the game and we got no blocks there. I just want to point this out, game. And when I point out, someone also say, fuck you. How are we hitting for 14 with weakened 8 turns and fucking minus 4 strength? I don't understand how you're hitting for 14 damage. Okay, I just want to, I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. Off maneuver, strike him, and turn. We actually might just die here before we even reach the elite. Unless we get skewer. If we get skewer, we have this world's tiniest chance. The world's tiniest chance you've ever seen in your life. Oh, I messed up big time, boys. Dagger spray is okay, I guess. I need skewers. Okay, so. <laughs> this is straight up over. Mm, fuck the defense, guys. Let's go for balls to the fucking walls. Full gameplay style, babies. It was nice what lost it, but that is the end of this episode. Thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed me getting my ha ass handed to me, I think we had an okay idea. The energy build up was good. We just needed some way to execute it. We needed skewer. It was the only way of winning that is we got skewer. We did not get skewer because I never get the cards I need, which is just how it is. I I understand. It's gonna happen from time to time. It sucks. I know, but that's life. And um, I don't know. I just truly, truly don't know how to win with this silent anymore. I, I think we need to wait for another patch, uh, patch that comes and fixes the game up a bit. At the moment, it feels unbalanced. When I first started playing inside, I lost a lot, but I was fine and it wasn't an issue. But then it got to a point where I was winning like every second game of Slayer Spire, and now it's at a point where I just physically can't win a game of Slayer Spire. But that's literally from the patch on 25th of January. Since the 25th of January patch, the game has become unbeatable. I don't know what they changed because if you go to patch notes, they didn't change much. Okay, literally. Uh, cheetah score doesn't matter. Nightmare long retains cost for turn. Well, doesn't matter. I never use nightmare. Play times like doesn't matter. Sensual HP doesn't matter. The collector response doesn't matter. Like the gameplay so called changes. It doesn't matter. Okay, I'm just saying it, that doesn't make a difference. Where does it show me the fix, the fucking nerf of. They don't tell me the nerf of uh, hypotheses. It doesn't say nerf of hypotheses anywhere. Where is the nerf of hypotheses? I don't see a nerf of hypotheses anyway. So I don't know where these patches, what these patches are doing or where they're coming from, but that's how it is. Um, anyway, if you guys enjoyed that, hit the like button, subscribe. It helps a bunch. It really does. And I will see you all next episode of Say Spy where we play as a silent once again because I'm not going to stop playing as a silent until I get a silent win. See you all guys soon.